I'm going to list a number of projects, reports, and organizations. And tell me if you've heard of them. The Civic Alliance, LA 2050, uh, the No Going Back Report, um, any number, the, the, the New Los Angeles, uh, the Mayor's Fund, any number of projects, and they're all amazing and doing amazing things. And they have really great insights about what we can do as a city and how we can move forward. There's only one problem. No one knows about them. And by no one, I mean that I have done hundreds of calls and Zooms and outreaches over the last couple of months as a result of starting Rise Together. And I've talked to hundreds of civic leaders and former and current elected officials about policy and thought leadership and all of the ideas that they have for Los Angeles. But what I haven't heard from everyday Angelinos is that they have any clue about all of this. And that's not a failure of everyday Angelinos. That's a failure of the leadership of Los Angeles and not just the elected leadership. We have all of these smart, brilliant, experienced people gathering in rooms around the city to write reports that are hundreds of pages long, to create organizations that are proposing vast sweeping changes to how we govern ourselves as a city, even what type of city we are. And indeed, many of these organizations will bring about change, but no one will be aware of what's happening. No one is aware of what's happening and no one is participating in these conversations on a widespread basis. And by no one, I'm sure, yes, there are 500 or 1,000 people, if we're generous, participating in these conversations in the back of the room. But this is a city of 4 million people and a county of over 10 million people. And the vast majority of those people don't know what's happening and we don't make an effort to engage them. That's wrong. We publish these reports and count on the LA Times to publish them and promote them. Good luck with that. We count on social accounts associated with these nonprofits with 5,000 or if they're lucky, 20,000 followers to promote them, but we aren't doing the job. We have created a system in Los Angeles where public things happen privately, meaning they are nominally in the public sphere, they are nominally available to anyone, but we do it in a way that we don't want people to notice, or we don't want people to see, or we can just ram through a hearing at three o'clock in the afternoon, or we can do a thousand page report about the future of Los Angeles. Who has the time to read a thousand pages? Now, don't get me wrong, I would like a thousand pages of thought and I like the comprehensiveness of those reports. What I don't like is the fact that it is undigestible for the average Angelino. We need to do better. We must do better. We must be transparent and we must be proactive. We must reach out to the public again and again and again and again until they're tired of hearing about it so that they are informed. And it is our responsibility to inform the public. It is our responsibility to engage the public. It is our responsibility to bring them along on the journey. There's a reason that 95% of the city did not vote for Eric Garcetti when he became mayor by either not participating or voting for another candidate. Hell, only 220,000 voters voted for him out of a voter pool of 2.3 million, and yet more than 1.8 million voted for president in the same pool of voters seven years later. People care. They just don't care about Los Angeles leaders. They don't care about Los Angeles policy, except they do care. They care about the city, and they care about their lives. We are not doing enough to make the discussions that we're having in these ivory tower rooms with civic leaders who have PhDs and decades of wonderful public service to the city. We're not doing enough to make those conversations not just public, but in the public, for the public, and to the public. The people of this city must be informed, and it is our responsibility to share information with them, even when they don't proactively seek it out. It is our responsibility to meet them, and our failure to do so is an abomination. It's unacceptable. It's why I started Rise Together, whose sole focus is engaging the public, in bringing the public together. 
in shifting public opinion, in helping them reinvest in where this city's going and why we're going there and how we're going about it. And so I would like to ask that every organization, starting with the city itself, reorient themselves to focus on the public. And if they're not engaged, if they're not paying attention, it's your fault, not theirs. Do better. That starts today. Thanks. Thanks for tuning in to The World According to Craig, where I believe that everyone has a story not only that could inspire us or that we want to hear, that we can learn from. And when we learn from each other, we do a lot better. So tune in every week. I know I'll be here. <laughs>